Hello, this is the Solo Negocios Video Blog, and we're going to talk about the following indicators um, publicized or announced during the last two weeks in Mexico and the US. In terms of uh, GDP on the fourth quarter of 2021, it resulted with a decrease of 0.1% in the quarter and 5% for the full year of 2021. This is advanced data. At the end of February, we will know the revised data. In terms of the manufacturing purchase indicator uh, made by Inegi, it shows basically that the, the month of uh, January resulted in a decrease of 0.5 points towards 51.5 points, where the threshold is 50 points. So it's still 16 months over the threshold, but beginning to decrease since October, importantly. And it's linked, obviously, to GDP. In terms of January uh, business expectatives trends, all of them, manufacturing, construction, and trade or retail, uh, have increases, monthly increases, light monthly increases, but all of them over the threshold of 50 points, uh, which denotes a, a recovery probably inside the company. In terms of the Institute for Supply Management, PMI, it resulted in 57.6% in the United States with 20, month, 20 months in a row over the threshold, but two months in a row decreasing. And the sub-indicators had a mixed result with a lot of them in negative position. Also, the same type of indicator, but for, from IMEF in Mexico, for January 2022, both of them, the manufacturing and the non-manufacturing resulted in negative results the manufacturing with 4.4 points below the previous data and went down to 48.8% under the threshold. The non-manufacturing decreased 3.8% and went down to 49 points under the threshold. So both showing January a weak beginning month. Also the cyclical indicator system from INEGI showed for November of 2021, that the coincident indicator resulted in 98, 99.8% with a decrease, with an increase of 0 0.07 points. This shows a weakness for November, which maybe is the result of GDP when it shows res, uh, revised uh, data at the end of the month. Also for December, the advanced indicator showed 101 points with a decrease of 0.20 units, which implies also a weakness for the month of December. Also, Inegi announced the consumer's trust indicator or confidence indicator with a decrease of 0.9 points with 43.4 uh, units in results with a very flat positions since the month of August and all of the sub indicators in negative trend. The ISM also for the US showed the PMI for services with 59.9 points as a result. It, it, it means 20 months in a row over the threshold, but at least one month in a row uh, in, in a negative trend. Or many of them, almost all of the sub indicators resulted negative. For the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, productivity and cost for the full quarter and annual average for 2021, it resulted for an increase of 6.6 .6 points, the non-farm business sector labor productivity increase uh, on the fourth quarter of 2021. For the annual average productivity, it increased 1.9% in 2021 versus 2020 previous year. Also in Ehi reported the uh, light vehicles regist administrative registry, and it showed that production in Mexico went down 9.09% in the month of January versus January 2021. Uh, internal sales in Mexico went down 3.76%. Went down Exports went down 3.09%. All of them highly linked mainly to the semiconductors crisis worldwide. Also, we have by Inegi the consumption indicator for November with an increase of 0.7% monthly 
6.1% yearly, and maybe the main uh, indicator for GDP to keep it slowly in a positive perspective for 2021. Why? Because investment by private companies, by because government and because of the um, international trade deficit, this is the only one growing really. Actually, for investment for November 2021, it decreased 0.1% and it decreased a monthly basis and 4.3% yearly basis, basis. In a monthly basis, construction decreased 0.7% in, and machinery and equipment increased 0.2%. Also, the Bureau of Labor Statistics for the US showed the summary of employment situation with the total non-farm and payroll employment rose by 467,000 uh, people in January and the unemployment rate little change in 4%. Mainly growths were in the leisure and hospitality sectors, professional and business services, retail trade and transportations and warehousing. The Federal Reserve announced on February the 7th consumer credit with an increase of 5.1% in a yearly basis in 2021. December, November was, was 10.1%. 7%, October 4%. So it's keep growing the consumption and improving chances for maquiladoras production in Mexico. Inengi announced, announced that the uh, industrial activity in state basis uh, for October 2021 resulted in very few states going down, only one strong uh, fall in Quintana Roo for 10.9%. The rest, very few losses, and mainly wins like Chihuahua, 0.6%, Nuevo León, it decreased 1.9%, Sonora increased 34 among others. Also, Inegi announced the uh, production price index in Mexico with an increase of 0.61% monthly basis in January, 9.78% yearly basis putting pressure to the future of the consumption index, mainly in the intermediary sector where the annual part is 12.56%. So the, the supply change is being pressed by costs, is being pressed by inflation in their costs, and it will depend on the market how they will flow towards the uh, consum consumers in Mexico. Actually, the consumption index was announced also on Wednesday by Inegi with 0.59% on uh, January versus December 2021. And the yearly basis was 7.07%. This basically implies a decrease from December, which implied a decrease from November, but still a very high inflation over the position of goals of Banco de Mexico. In this case, the non-energy and non-food part of the index index increased 6.21% and the merchandising increased mostly. Mm -hmm. This is worrisome for the chances of this to uh, improve in the near term. Also, the Energy Information Agency exposed that the oil inventories without strategic reserves in the US decreased 4.8 million barrels from the previous week. And at 410 million barrels, US crude oil inventories are about 11% below the five year average for this time of the year, energy putting pressure over inflation. And this is important. Joe Biden has been in contact with the people from, Ara, uh, uh, from OPEC, uh, OPEC to promote increasing production and decreasing prices, but the US is not doing it. So how you ask for that? abroad when you do, you are not doing it in your own country. Inegi reported international visitors into Mexico increased in 2021, 37.7%. Uh, total expenditures, 99%. Uh, total expenditures, 58% increase. And average expenditures, 16.6% increase. Also, Inegi reported trade balance in merchandising resulting in a notorious 2021 deficit, which is what it was regular without taking into account war on US and China trade war and the pandemic. 
all of the rest of the years since 1994 with, with NAFTA, back then, Mexico had a deficit. And a deficit is not necessarily bad because it means people is consuming and we showed already that consumption is growing. But the thing is that it's coming back to the normal state because 2020 and 2020 and 2018 were super habits given those anomalies, anomalies from whatever happened in the US or world with the pandemics. Also, he announced the uh, high volume vehicles uh, registry and uh, in the national market, we sold 2599 vehicles. Uh, they were produced 14,726 units and exported, thir exported 13,308 units. It is a better January than last year for sales in Mexico, for production and for exports, at least in high volume vehicles. Also the Department of Labor uh, for last week, I, I mean, I just talked about this uh, a few minutes ago, but the Department of Labor showed the unemployment insurance weekly claims for February 5, uh, the initial claims in, uh, decreased 16,000 to 223,000 initial claims. The four, four week moving average were uh, 1,634,500,000 people with current uh, claims and, and a little increase of 16,500 people from previous week's revised average, but it's improving. Although he has this bump through Omicron or given Omicron and COVID-19, in general terms, we are stabilizing the position. Also, the Bureau of Labor Statistics showed uh, yesterday the consumer price index, which increased in January 0.6% in a yearly basis, 7.5%, the greatest increase yearly for a January in the last four years is not improving inflation in the US, the Fed has to take action and it will on March. Also the Bureau of Labor Statistics show the real learning summary. And basically this is meaning that real average hourly earnings for all employees increased 0.1% from December to January, where the um, general data increased 0.7%, but given uh, the consumer price index of 0.6, the real data increased only 0.1%. Also, Inegi announced the aggregated value for electronic commerce on 2020 with 5.8% increase towards 2019, but it showed a known change in the increase, in the yearly increase compared to what happened in 2019 against 2018. So this might be revised. This is a, an advanced data. Because 2020, with the pandemics, Mexico increased its usage, its usage over electronic commerce. So we will have to revise this data. Also, it showed the touristic activity quarterly for the third quarter of 2021, with GDP on tourism 2.5% increase quarterly, 24.9% yearly. In the internal tourism in Mexico increased 4.6% quarterly and 31.7% yearly, strong but not strong enough to offset the pre-pandemic data or the bad, mostly the bad numbers in the pandemics. And also finally, INEGI exposed the industrial activity for December 2021 nationally, which increased 1.2% monthly basis, 2.4% yearly basis, and at least a little bread over what will be showing in the GDP data. In terms of the change rate in Mexico, during the last month, we had uh, depreciation from January 17 to January 27. And then it appreciated and kept stable until the day of uh, last Thursday when Banco de Mexico made their decision of monetary policy. The presumption is that if the spread is increased between the rate in Mexico and the rate in the Federal Reserve funds rate, well, there will be an appreciation of exchange rate, but it didn't happen necessarily that way. It appreciated at the beginning 
but then it began depreciating again. And the reason is that there is a lot of other elements, including the monetary policy that is take, take, taken into account by different um, forex market participants and obviously the potential war that could occur with Russia and the US at Ukraine, well, obviously is bringing some uh, problems here. Also the pandemics and well, many other elements that could occur. Now, in terms of the agenda, business agenda in Mexico for next week, we have IMEF on February 15 with this topic of our pensions, integral pensions analysis. Also on February 16, the National Technical Committee of Financial Information will talk about the ESG policies for corporate governance, as well as the analysis between uh, risk uh, management and creating business value. The Energy National Committee of IMEF will talk about the financial industrial aspects of the electric market in Mexico, given the electric reform being discussed in Mexico. Uh, also on February 17, another Chihuahua will talk about how to professionalize the business board of a company, steps towards business corporate uh, practices. We also invite you to listen to the, another podcast, which is displayed in several uh, social networks. And the last one, which is right now uh, on the system, is what happened on 2022 perspectives, the legislative agenda being discussed. Also on February 15, ANADE at the national level will help their subcommittee of uh, advertising regulation and consumption. Uh, the next is the important elements of the economic indicators calendar for next uh, week. We have uh, industrial or production prices, uh, monthly basis and yearly basis in the US. We also have a, a non-monetary policy meeting from the um, European Central Bank some other export prices in the US, yearly and monthly basis. And for Mexico, we have on January 16, urban transportation, January 17, February, excuse me, 17, the labor survey from INEGI, and February 18, the advanced economic activity indicator for January. And remember, there's a open, part, open, open Congress discussions about the electric reform, inviting business organizations, citizens to, to discuss about this with the Congress uh, people uh, of Mexico. On February 5th, uh, 14, they will discuss the environment, the 2013, 2030 agenda, and the climate change. And on February 15, they will discuss the social mission and productive development of the Federal Electricity Commission. Well, if you are considering in the near future, talk about in your business, outsourcing or um, the specialized registry for these type of companies with outsourcing, consider us as your support for advising and development in your company. And finally, let me tell you what we discussed at Solo Negocio Radio during the last weeks. Well, two weeks ago on Monday, uh, we talked about the new invoice system to be held in Mexico, the 4.0 version. We talked about uh, contextual topics on the economy of Mexico with uh, the group of Emmanuel Garcia and Luis Enrique Gutierrez Casas. I interviewed Jorge Sells, uh, which is um, lawyer for labor uh, law about the context of labor in Mexico. And I discussed the topics of uh, the Institute for Supply Management, Indicador IMEF, and the PMI of INEGI. Then UTEC discussed digital pedag pedagogy. And we interviewed um, about internal labor uh, management models. This last week, uh, Konafi talked about uh, different topics on tax law and also topics on the cloud for businesses. 
Again, Emmanuel Garcia and Luis Enrique Guterres talked about contextual elements of the economy of Mexico. And I talked about inflation and energy in the economic perspective and in the legal perspective, we talked about the ANAVE radars, which includes uh, judicial precedents and legislative uh, proposals. Um, you take interview a couple of girls talking about um, um, entrepreneurship and the perspectives for it. And I talked about monetary policy given the decision of Marco de Mexico and as well as IMEF perspectives of the economy. So we invite you to consider us in your advice. Uh, hear the contact information and we'll, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.